Hello, welcome to the Margin Odd Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to cover robust Linux tools that make it scary easy for hackers to hack you, me, everyone. I'm leaving here with something. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The, the, these tools are robust. They're easy, uh, good user interface, you name it. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So before we get into that, let's talk about what is Kali Linux, right? Kali Linux is, a, is an open source distribution designed for cybersecurity professionals, ethical hackers, and penetration testers. It is Debian derived and focused on providing over 600 tools for penetration testing and security auditing. Offensive security act, uh, actively developed Kali Linux and is one of the most popular security distributions used by ethical hackers and infosec companies. Kali Linux was designed to be used by professionals, web admins, and anyone who knows how to run Kali Linux. It was not designed for general use. So this is for hackers, penetration testers, people who want that smoke. You know what I'm saying? People who want that smoke. So Kali Linux has numerous security uh, hacker applications pre-installed for exploitation tools, forensic tools, hardware hacking, information gathering, password cracking, reverse engineering, wireless attacks, web applications, stress testing, sniffing and spoofing, uh, vulnerability analysis, and again, much, much more, right? Much, much more. Uh, you can even install additional tools. Okay, so uh, there's a lot of tools and each tool has their, their purpose, right? Uh, from a networking perspective and all, all those kinds of things. So since hundreds of tools are available, uh, I wanted to, you know, give you like a short list of tools that are really like that of the better tools to use this year. Right. Uh, you know, that way, you know, you don't have to spend hours trying to wade through the water and trying to figure out which one should I use. Mark, you didn't tell me which one should I use, which one should I use, which, which, which one should I use, which one should I use. So I did the heavy lifting. I, I got y'all. Just chill. Just chill. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying check your check that blood pressure. Check that blood pressure again. OK, so let's start off with this. Uh, number one, skip fish. Skipfish is a Kali Linux tool like WP Scan, but instead of only focusing on WordPress, Skipfish scans many web applications. Skipfish acts as an effective auditing tool for crawling web-based data, uh, given, you know, it gives pen testers a quick insight into how insecure any app is. Skipfish performs recursive crawl and dictionary based tests over all URLs using its recon capabilities. The crawl creates a digital map of security checks and their results. Here is some noteworthy Skipfish features, right? The automated learning capabilities, the differential security checks. It's easy to use, right? It has that easy to use interface. Uh, it has a low false positive ratio and it has the ability to run high speed security checks with over 200 requests per second that is key the next one is metasploit framework and remote computing is on you know i can't even say it's on the rise because it's it's really here right uh, thanks to more people working from home, Metasploit Framework or MSF for short is a Ruby based platform used by ethical hackers to develop, test and execute exploits against remote hosts. Before I proceed, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. So Metasploit includes a complete collection of security tools intended for penetration testing plus a powerful terminal based console known as MS console, which lets you uh, find targets, explode security flaws, launch scans, and collect all relevant available data. Available for Windows and Linux, MSF is most likely one of the most potent security auditing Kali Linux tools freely available for cybersecurity professionals. Now, let's get into the Metasploit framework features. There is network enumeration and discovery, evading detection on remote hosts, exploiting development and execution, uh, scanning remote targets, exploiting vulnerabilities, and collecting valuable data. Uh, the next one we have is Linux. Uh, well, not Linux. It's Linus. Uh, L-Y-N-I-S. So please, Linus. Linus is most likely one of the most comprehensive tools available for cybersecurity compliance like PCI, HIPAA, SOCs, 
system auditing, system hardening, and testing. In addition, uh, thanks to its numerous capabilities, Linus also functions as an effective platform for vulnerability scanning and penetration testing. So uh, some of the, you know, the, this particular Kali Linux tool uh, main features include open source and free with commercial support available. Uh, it also is a uh, simple, it has simple installation with, uh, you know, from the GitHub repository. It also runs on multiple platforms like BSD, Mac OS, Linux, BSD, uh, AIX, and much, much more. It can run up to 300 security tests on the remote host. Uh, it, it, its output report is shared on screen and features suggest warnings and any critical security issues found on, uh, the machine next. Now, I don't want you to, I know, I don't want you to be like, no, we know that already. I don't care. I'm going to say it again. John the Ripper. Okay. I mean, John the Ripper, you know, us, us college grads, we, we know John the Ripper. So I got to say it, John the Ripper. So John the Ripper points for, you know, a creative name. This hacker's resource is a multi-platform cryptography testing tool that works equally well on Linux, Windows, Mac OS, and Unix. It enables system administrators and security uh, penetration testers to test the strength of any system password by launching brute force attacks. Additionally, John the Ripper can be used to test encryptions like DES, SHA-1, and many others. Its ability to change password decryption methods is set automatically and contingent on the detection uh, or detected algorithms. So uh, John the Ripper is a free tool licensed and distributed under the GPL license and ideal for anyone who wants to test uh, their organization's password security. And, uh, you know, John the Ripper's chief advantages include the brute force testing and dictionary attacks, its compatibility with most operating systems and CPU architectures. It runs automatically by using Crohn's. Uh, it allows pause and resume options for any scan. It lets hackers define custom letters while building dictionary attack lists. It allows brute force customization rules. And the last one I have for you, the fifth one, is called Fluxian. Uh, and it is, it's, you know, Wi-Fi is growing more popular each, each and every year. We're becoming more and more, you know, dependent on it, right? Making it more attractive target uh, of opportunity for hackers. That's why pen testers must have the capacity to test Wi-Fi networks for security leaks. Fluxian is a Wi-Fi analyzer specializing in MITM WPA attacks and lets you scan wireless networks. Pen testers use Fluxian to search for security flaws in corporate and personal networks. However, unlike similar Wi-Fi cracking tools, Fluxian does not launch time-consuming brute force uh, uh, cracking attempts. Uh, instead, uh, Fluxian creates an MDK3 process that forces all users on the targeted network to lose authentication or deauthenticate. Once this is accomplished, the user is prompted to connect to a false access point requiring entering the Wi-Fi password. Then the program reports the password to the pen tester to gain access. That's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe. See you in the next video.